Hello everyone, welcome back to all of you in the Smelly Army. So if you've been watching the channel recently, you'll know that I received an offer from a mysterious stranger called Dr. Kramens Bulovic, aka Vlad Bully, who claims to have created an amazing new fragrance called Swordfish. He wants me to be the main man promoting this one on YouTube and in various other places, and there's been a bit of back and forth and quite a lot of silliness. These are real emails, I do not know who they are coming from, and eventually I've convinced him I might be interested, so he's made me a concrete offer, and he sent me this uh, email, at last we are aligned when it comes to belief in the product. And then there's a little bit of a sob story about how he gained a lot of money. Uh, and uh, he then goes on to say he's going to make me president of the company. And he's offered me an amazing package of uh, benefits, including, uh, what do we have? Uh, £185,000 per annum, 30 days hol holiday paid, and a ton of other stuff. Uh, but there is a rather alarming condition to this. So uh, that is, he says, however, some things must change. Your channel on YouTube will remain the same, but only be used to promote our brand. You will cease all activity outside side of this. Now, if he thinks I'm going to sacrifice my integrity, give over my channel just to promoting his products, if he thinks I'm going to sell out in that way after all the hard work that I've put in over these years uh, to, to betray the trust of my viewers who expect honest and independent reviews, if he thinks I'm going to throw that all away just because he's offered me a large amount of money, then he's right. Hello everyone, welcome back to all of you in the Smelly Army. So, the Mr. Smelly fragrance is here. Many of you probably thought I was just kidding around and it would never happen, but it really has. So we're going to tell you a bit more about this one today. Before we do that, if you'd like to join up to the Smelly Army Private Members Club over on Patreon, there's a link in the description below. It's just $2 a month and you get an extra video from me every week, plus a lot more content in there, including some more insider information about this one. I've been talking about how it's been developing. I've got a video about my favorite Galan fragrances. I did the House of Givenchy, Yves Saint Laurent, breakdowns of my favorite stuff from there. Please head over and check it out. If if you'd like to and I really hope I can see you in there. Now let's get into the main subject today. So my fragrance is here, I'm so excited, it's been a long time in the making and I'm sure some of you thought it would never happen, probably including me at times. So the fragrance, I can reveal the perfumer. It is John Stephen. He is the man behind a large number of fragrances from the house of Bodicea the Victorious, a very prestigious niche house, as I'm sure some of you know. And he is also the man behind the Cotswolds Perfumery, who have a great range of fragrances, one of them called Oberon, which is a really lovely green fougere style fragrance that was part of what convinced me he would be the best man to do this. So he's a UK based perfumer down in the Cotswolds, a beautiful part of, the, of Great Britain. And he sent me the 10 mil sample here of of what is going to be called Gravitas Porom. We have a label design here. I'll tell you a bit more about the presentation plans in a moment. Uh, and he's labeled it for me, Mr. Smelly's own private personal fougere. So uh, we gave him a brief. It was very much along the lines of the type of classic fragrance that I love. Uh, I've, we mentioned some fragrances that are some of my already existing favorites. It's very much a new and unique scent. It is not a clone or combination of any other fragrances, although you may recognize some similarities, of course, to the kinds of things that I like in general. It's very much in that gentlemanly classic fougere style, but with a modern niche sensibility, I hope as well. I can tell you the fragrant note listing. In the top we have bergamot, mandarin, and lavender. Here's the olfactory pyramid. Mid. In the mid, it's coriander, cardamom and pepper, and in the base we have ambergris, oak moss and patchouli. It's just a stunning fragrance. I'm going to spray some, a celebratory spray, the first on-camera sprays of the Mr. Smelly fragrance. Uh, so, here we go. Let's do two. 
Um, it wouldn't be right for me to give you a full in-depth review right now of the smell. I'm loving it. I, I, the perfume in John Stephen could not have fulfilled the brief any better than this. It's so me, it's ridiculous. It's going to be at a pretty high concentration of perfume oil. It's going to be extract to parfum, so performance is going to be stellar. That's what I've got here. It's really strong. It's classic. It's got freshness in the opening. If you like lavender, you're going to love this because there's quite a lot of that lavender, lavender maybe kind of barbershop feel, but there's also a really really gutsy, deep, masculine base to this one. That patchouli is also very noticeable. But let's, I'm gonna save real breakdowns of how it smells for later videos when I've had more chance to wear it more. And I wanna know what you think about the fragrance. What do you think about the note listing? How excited are you to find out about this one? Now, how are you gonna be able to get it? We're going to be starting a Kickstarter campaign and that Kickstarter campaign will be going live at the end of September. So that is what we're looking at more information to come. The price isn't completely confirmed and decided yet, but it's gonna be at the very reasonable end of niche prices or you know maybe even the higher end of the designer price kind of range it's, it's going to be very accessible to everybody uh, and i can give you some more information about the packaging too so we have the bottle design i ha i'm just waiting for a definite confirmation of what bottle size we're going to go with i think this would be 100 mil it may be a smaller bottle size to make it affordable for everybody and we've got a few options for the lid you can see the the graphic that we've got for the label we may go with a paper or uh, you know a, a normal type of label or we might go for a metal plaque so that's not completely finalized here's one of the lids which i really like that can be gold or silver i'll show you a couple of other options too this one, so we'll call that one number one. This one number two, let us know in the comments which ones you prefer. Very nice design there. We hope we can do maybe a logo on top of these depending which one we go with how easy that is to do for the Norton and Wilson brand. And the other option that we really like at the moment is this one. I think looks pretty great too. So let us know which one you prefer. What do you think about the label and the name of the fragrance and the note listing? I can tell you I'm very thrilled. Stay tuned for more information of how you can get hold of it. So the Kickstarter campaign is coming really soon and we hope to give you more information about the definite, the label and all the kind of packaging that we're going for. It will have a box too. Let us know what you think about this in the comments. Thanks ever so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. See you in the next video. Bye bye.